Today, we will be looking at the top five data analyst courses on Coursera. Now, if you are watching this video, you most likely are looking for courses to learn the skills to become a data analyst. And I have taken so many courses and I've taken terrible courses and I've taken really, really great courses that have taught me fantastic things. And today I'm going to show you the ones that I have been taking or have taken in the past that I genuinely enjoy, that I think that you will really benefit from and that will help you learn the correct skills to become a data analyst faster. And I actually did a video about a year and a half ago on my favorite Coursera courses, but I gave multiple options for each skill. And in this video, I'm only going to give one option for each skill. The one that I think is the absolute best, the one that I think that there is no reason to look any further. This is the one that you should take for each specific skill. So if you're looking for my recommendation on the exact course that you should take, you are in the right place. But before we jump into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Coursera. Now, listen, I was going to make this video whether Coursera sponsored it or not. That's just because I love Coursera and I've been using them for about five years and I've learned just a ton of different things on there. And a lot of the courses that I'm recommending are ones that I learned a ton from when I was first starting out as a data analyst and ones that I'm even taking today. And so if you are looking for a place to learn the skills to become a data analyst, I highly recommend checking out Coursera. Thank you guys so much for being the sponsor of this video. Now, without further ado, let's jump on my screen and take a look. All right, so let's get started. And the very first one that we're going to take a look at is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And if you've done any research at all on courses to take to become a data analyst, I guarantee you, you've seen this one. Uh, it's kind of the new popular one that a lot of people are taking. I'm about 90% of the way through myself. Um, I am only taking it because I want to take it for you guys so that I can review it and, and share what my thoughts are. So I'm not completed with it. But what I will say is it's really, really great for beginners. It's not for people who are like intermediate level or trying to become more advanced. This is like an intro to data analytics. So it'll teach you a lot of the building blocks, but it won't teach you a lot of the more advanced things. And so if you are just starting out and you're a complete beginner and you're just wanting to learn the building blocks and the basics to become a data analyst, this is a fantastic place to start. All right, so let's scroll down right here into the what you will learn. And honestly, the only thing that I'm going to take a look at is this part right here. So we have spreadsheets, SQL, R programming, and Tableau. So you're going to be learning, uh, you know, basically Excel, SQL, a programming language, and Tableau, which is a BI tool, a data visualization tool. And these are a lot of the things that I tell people to start with. Uh, of course, R programming, uh, I tell people to learn Python, but R programming is kind of like another option. And it's a really good option. And so this is going to teach you a lot of those basics. Uh, we can go take a look at the courses. Uh, you may not get a ton out of this, but some of the things um, that you'll learn how to do are how to clean up data, how to analyze the data, visualizing it. And then at the very end, you have a capstone project. And I'm a huge fan of projects myself. Again, I'm about 90% of the way through. I am in uh, the R programming right now and I have absolutely no complaints. And so if you are a beginner and you're looking for a place to start, this is the exact course that I would take. The next course that I recommend is the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. I have taken this one all the way through. I also took the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, but uh, this one is the one I recommend for people to become data analysts. The data science one goes over some machine learning stuff and some extra stuff that I really don't think you'll most likely ever use if you're a data analyst. So I am in, let's uh, take a look at this one really quick. Right you're going to be learning a lot of and, Excel, and SQL, and Python. No Honestly, so if you a lot of Python, which is fantastic. Start, uh, I learned a ton of Python just from this because there's like a ton of different the courses course within the specialization. The and they also use IBM Cognos Analytics, which is like a web-based BI tool. And so the you're going to learn a lot of the fundamentals of how to IBM use a visualization tool. And this one to me is almost like I the counter to the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate IBM because that one teaches R. This one teaches uh, Python. One and so if you're wanting to learn Python and a lot of those building blocks as well, this one may be for you, except I will say that this one is a little bit more difficult. It is fairly beginner friendly because they walk you through these things. But I found this one a lot more challenging than I did the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. So if you're wanting an all around introduction as well as learning Python and it's to be a little bit more difficult and this is the course for you. The next one that we're going to look at is this one right here, which is the learn SQL basics for data science specialization. So if you're going on to Coursera to look for a SQL course, this is the one that I would take. Now I have taken several courses on Coursera to learn SQL and this one to me is the best. More specifically, uh, if we scroll down right here to the courses, there's this SQL for data science, but there is this entire specialization if you want to take the whole thing because it includes this project and some data wrangling and analysis stuff. 
stuff. But um, but to me, the best part of this was the sequel for Data Science. It, it really does walk through it extremely well. So if you're wanting to learn SQL and you want to go a little bit more in depth than what you'll get in the Google and the IBM certifications, this is the one that I would recommend because it just goes a little bit more in depth and probably takes you more towards the intermediate level than just the beginner that you'll get in those other parts. The next one that we're going to look at is Python for Everybody. Now, this one to me, I cannot speak highly enough of this course. I have probably taken this one myself about three times. And that is because Chuck, aka Charles, is probably one of the best Python teachers I have ever met. I have honestly never taken an all round better Python course than this one right here. That is because Chuck just does an absolutely amazing job. The only downside to taking this is that this is going to teach you Python as a whole. It is not going to be data analyst specific, but I myself wanted to learn Python as a whole at first. And then I started to specialize and really hone in on a lot of the things that were data analyst specific. So that is the only downside to taking this one. But for everybody, now let's take a look at some of the things that you will learn. Uh, it's programming for everybody. Again, this is going to teach you all the basics, all the building blocks. Uh, Python data structures, using Python to access web data. So this is a lot of like data scraping, web scraping, um, using Python with databases. And then you have a capstone project. Again, this to me is by far the best Python course you are going to find out there. It is, and, and if you look at the reviews, they're going to say the same thing. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So if you want a Python course that is only Python um, and teaches you as a whole, this is the course that I would take. And the next one and the last one that we are going to look at is the data visualization with Tableau specialization. Now, typically when I recommend a BI tool, I tell people to learn Tableau first. I'm not telling them not to learn Click or Power BI or the other tons of options that you can learn. I just think Tableau gives you more options to find jobs. And that is what is really important when you're learning these basic skills. You want to make yourself as marketable as possible. So with that being said, this Tableau course, incredible. I have taken this at least twice, uh, if not more in the past several years, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let's go down to the courses. You'll learn the fundamentals as well as the essentials of design principles. Um, and a lot of these things you just don't even think about. If you just look at the basics of Tableau, it's fairly simple. Now, typically, as you get into it, as you get into more advanced things and you start using it in your job, these are the things that you're actually going to need to know. If you probably would not know if you didn't take this course. Um, if you just watch, like, again, like my YouTube series, it's pretty basic. I'm teaching you the intro, how to use it, how to get started with it. This is how you get really advanced and you get the really good stuff that's going to help you sell in your job. Uh, and then at the very end, they are going to have, uh, so you have, you'll learn how to create dashboards. Uh, at the very end, they have a Tableau project, and I am just such a big believer in projects. So uh, all these courses that have these projects at the end, I just love them uh, because you know, it teaches you how to actually do an end-to-end -end project, and you can use that to put in your portfolio. And so uh, with that being said, that is it. These are the five courses that I would take. So if you were looking on Coursera, and you're like, I just don't know what to take. There's so many options. Look no further. Take these ones. These ones will get you where you need to go if you know exactly what you're looking for. So if you are just a beginner, I recommend the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate or the IBM Data Analytics Professional Certificate, depending on if you're like a true, true beginner or if you really want to read Python. If you're a true beginner, do the Google one. If you are a little bit more advanced or you really want to read Python, uh, do the IBM Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Uh, then we have the SQL one, the Python one, and the Tableau one. That's it. And you'll learn Excel uh, in those first two. But these skills are the ones I highly recommend focusing on. And as you are learning them, build out projects. Use the projects that they have already in these courses. You can build out a portfolio as you go. So with that being said, I hope that this video has been helpful. If you did know what courses you need to take, hopefully now you do. I remember when I made the first video, I gave about two or three options per skill. And almost all the comments were like, well, which one is better? Which one should I take? And so that is what this video is. I'm just kind of whittling it down.